Hey guys, have you ever thought, maybe one day I'll believe in Jesus, maybe one day I'll believe in God when I see it. When I see it, then I'll believe it. Here in the Bible, we have examples where people said the same thing. People thought the same way. Really, it didn't matter what they saw. When God revealed himself to them, they just didn't want it. It didn't matter what God did for them. They just did not want to come to God. So a lot of people today are rejecting God, no matter what. No matter what he does to reveal himself, no matter what he does to show his love to them, they just don't want it. Are you one of them today? The Bible says that the goodness of God leads us to repentance. Sometimes people think the goodness of God would be God giving them things, God making them rich, God giving them success in life. But you know, the goodness of God actually can mean God bringing them to the end of themselves. This could be a rough road, not so uh, pleasant. It wasn't really for me. Afterwards it was, but when I came to the end of myself, I wish it was a lot easier. Wish it was a lot easier for a lot of you listening. But you know, sometimes God has to do some things to get our attention. See, a lot of people are going to see miracles in life. They're going to see miracles happen in others' lives. I know with my life, it was a miracle that God changed me. Here we are in the uh, waterfront of Camden. This is where I used to get drugs. I used to party here all the time. And so God changed my life. There was nothing that could take me from the depths of hell that I was in. Only God and His miracle, His power could have done that. There wasn't somebody with $30,000 ready to send me to rehab. There wasn't somebody who was picking me up every day, giving me money. There wasn't even people that were willing to support me or even show me love. And so I had nothing left. But God moved in. He showed himself to me. See, a lot of people think bad things happen. That's when they turn to God. They'll turn to God just for a short period. They'll turn to God just to get a little relief from what's going on in their life. But once that's relieved, then they just depart from it. They don't really care about it anymore. They, can't, they come to God just for a little bit. They just want a little taste of it, but they're not real genuine. They just want God for what they're gonna get from Him. They don't really want a genuine relationship. They don't really care what God has done for them and that He's given them everything in life. So a lot of bad things will happen. God will try to get people's attention and they'll still ignore it. Maybe God will do some good things. God will answer a prayer. God will show you that he's real. But then after a while, it'll dwindle away. You'll let loose, you'll, you'll forget about it. You'll forget about the good things that God did in your life. You'll forget that God was there for you. Well, today I wanna to encourage you, don't forget. Go to church, find some Christians, find out who God really is, get in his word. Get a King James Bible and start reading that. Find out what God has for you. God has changed my life, He could change your life. Maybe you think you don't have to be changed. Well, the first step in being saved is you have to see yourself as a sinner. Jesus says, I came to seek and to save that which was lost. You must first see that you really are lost. You're on the road to hell. It's not a game, and you have one life to live. You have one chance. A lot of people are after success in this world. One day they're gonna wake up and realize it was all for nothing. One life to live for Jesus. If God has shown himself to you, or if you're seeking, is there really a God? Why don't you just start searching for him? The Bible says, if you seek me, you shall find me. He's just wanting you to come to him. Thanks for listening today here in Camden.